So today I'm gonna show you how to make cream cheese thumbprint cookies. We're gonna start today by weighing out our cream cheese. I already zeroed this out. And since it doesn't use a full block of cream cheese, you're gonna to have to weigh it. So just weigh out your six ounces and you're good to go. Then we go on to our mixer, lock it in place, and we cream our cream cheese. Until it's nice and fluffy. I think I said nice and fluffy, I just meant until it's smooth. It only takes like a minute or two. Now we're gonna scrape down the sides. And next, we add our stick of butter and our sugar, which I forgot to measure out. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. And our sugar, which I've now measured out. Lock it. And we're gonna cream this together until it's nice and fluffy. I want your mixture to look nice and fluffy, just like this. Now we add in our egg. One teaspoon of vanilla. And a fourth teaspoon almond extract. You can use any other extract you want. I like the taste of almond. But make it your own. Do what you like. Now we're gonna turn this back up, starting on low. Slowly make our way up to high. And we're gonna, whip, we're gonna cream these together until they're nice and fluffy again. Now, it should look like this once it's done. And then we'll stop. Add in our flour mixture. And mix on low just until everything comes together. Once everything comes together, go ahead and turn this off. mess all clean. So now we're going to take a one tablespoon scoop or you can do two tablespoon scoop if you want. And we're just going to scoop our dough onto a sheet tray. This should make about 40 little cookies and once you did get done scooping them onto your tray go ahead and wrap them and put them in your refrigerator for four hours up to overnight. Overnight is best. And then once you're done, we'll put our thumbprint in there, fill it with the jam, and bake them off. Okay, so I left my cookie dough in the fridge overnight, and I transferred over to this sheet pan. Next, we're going to go ahead and take your thumb. Now, these are going to be a little sticky, so you want to either, you can flour your thumb or put a little oil on it, like I did. But it doesn't guarantee that they're going to not stick to you. And you just put your thumb in there, hence the name Thumbprint Cookies. Kind of make a little well, big enough to hold the jam. Next, we're gonna take whatever jelly you want. Uh, we have strawberry and cherry blueberry. I'm just gonna take about a quarter teaspoon and fill each one. Now, when you're doing this, you don't wanna fill up your cookies too much. If you fill them up too much, that jelly will run over the sides and burn. Now once you finish filling these, go ahead and put them back into the fridge. Because we've messed with these a little bit and they've warmed up. You want to put them back in the fridge and let them get hard again so they don't spread. So once your cookies have hardened up, we're going to go ahead and put these in the oven at 350 until they get a little brown around the edges. It should take about maybe 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven, sometimes maybe even 8. But once it gets brown around the edges, then you pull them. All right, so the cookies are done. We're just gonna let them sit here for a minute before we take them and we put them onto our cooling rack so the bottoms don't burn. You see on this one, I didn't make the hole big enough or deep enough. So when it puffed up, all the jelly fell out. What are you doing? Um, you gonna eat another one? Mm-hmm. You like them? They, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess it's, yeah, I could take it with you. Go ahead, take it with you. So these were my second batch. Now these, I rolled into little balls before I did the thumb, uh, thumb imprint on them, filled them with jelly, and these came out a lot nicer. So if you, if you want them to look nice, I suggest rolling them into little balls first <laughs> before you do your thumb thing. And we're done. 
So there you have it, our thumbprint cookies. Enjoy.